Hello, hello! My name is Callista, and welcome back to Life is Strange. In the last episode, we are trapped in the dark room. We are hopping between pictures, trying to get, I believe we're trying to bring our journal closer to us, and we are, we are listening to so much monologuing by Mr. Jefferson. I'm loving it. Let me just start my timer, okay. Yeah, he's, he's printing stuff off over Sorry. there. This is not art. This. I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. Okay, okay, and let's uh, rewind. Okay. Wait, please, Mr. Jefferson. Max, I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures, especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. Ooh. I, I, I mean, I want to go through some of these because we've got the option. Could you, could you show me the photos? That's the first time one of my models down here has asked me that. Of course you would. But I love that the last thing you'll ever see is yourself through my camera eye. Too perfect. Yeah, this is, this is okay. Back we go. Oh, we can. I never noticed that. You can hear Chloe okay. in. Uh, Wait. You can hear Chloe Please. in reverse. Mr. Jefferson. Max. I would. Yep, this is this is fine. Uh, what are you gonna do? What? What are you going to do to me? I'm going to make you live forever in my photographs. That's all that will be left of Maxine Caulfield. They won't even find your bag. With a Apparently there's also something with our bag that we can ask about. Again, come on. There we go. Okay. Wait. Okay, no, presumably that was just uh, the diary in case you never looked at the journal. Okay. Let me go and I'll help you. Let me help you. Please. Don't beg. Never beg. <sighs> I hate that. Anyway, let's enjoy our final moment before I have to end our memorable session with your death. Oh, buddy, buddy, I, I have no intention of dying. No, thank you, that, that sounds like shit. I don't wanna die under a barn. Come on. There we go. Okay. Okay. Wait. Okay, and now, my diary, if you please. You... you still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh, look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. Oh, Mr. Jefferson. Alone with a heart. Thank you, a sir. Old heart. A heart the very first selfie we took in the game. There we go. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Shh, shh, shh. 
I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb I'm word back. for a wonderful photographic trick. Right back where I started this insane week. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe know, ever the again. portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. Why is that not an option? Why is that not an option? It's... Oh, we're going to play along. It's the Daguer Daguerrean process. I don't know how to pronounce that. The Daguerrean process. Oh. Well, that was easy, Max. Was it? Okay. Well, uh, <laughs> okay then. So, uh, the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear, defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Obviously, Max has read them. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday time Heroes. To change time. The winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the First, artwork. let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. And Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. <laughs> Let's I have do this. to warn David about Jefferson and the dark room. I'm gonna fuck you up, man. I'm gonna get you. Did you know someday your pictures would actually alter time and space? Uh, probably not. I hope I still love photography when this is done. Okay, Don't um, I, Oh, God, sorry, sorry. Confuse the art with the artist. <laughs> Bastard. I just, I just want to say, okay, we have, we have our journal back. Good stuff. I want to read. I want to read what's going on. Um, yeah, we read that. As if to remind me of Arcadia Bay's ticking doomsday clock, I actually saw two moons in the sky over the horizon. Or that's what it looked like briefly before the clouds rolled over. I squinted and actually rubbed my eyes like a dork just to make sure my iris wasn't foggy. Was this another sign or an environmental illusion? Other people saw it too, except Chloe didn't see anything besides vengeance. So she went into the gym looking for Nathan before I could catch up. Nathan doesn't know that he's running out of time too, no irony intended. We are. My first and last Vortex Club party. Flashing lights and DJ Doom, no comment, spinning. In an alternate reality, I might have been at this party, standing in the corner, shy and nervous, waiting for somebody to ask me to dance, but being terrified if that happened. And that would have been the limits of my problems. Now look at me. But I had to find Chloe first, then Nathan before she shot him. No matter how evil I thought Victoria was, she's actually just a terribly insecure person with talent passion and a tendency to be a cruel dick for no good reason. I have to see beyond our petty mean girl drama and assume she has a role to play in all of this too. So we talked like human beings and I warned her without specifics about Nathan. She believed me and it felt so warm to make a connection with my previous enemy. A sliver of light in all this darkness. Let there be more. October 11th. I guess. I watched Chloe die again, killed by my favourite teacher. Why? Because we were stupid and let Jefferson trick us with a phony text. So we ended up back at the junkyard and fell right into his trap. We should have called the police the second we found Rachel, but I, but I had gone along too far with Chloe. I keep thinking I'm invincible, that I'm a real everyday superhero. But no, I'm just Max Caulfield. Maybe all my powers are an accident to fate. Or am I being punished like Chloe? What have we done to deserve all this pain? What did Rachel do? Kate? William? Then there's Mark Jefferson. 
I can't ever call him Mr. again. I'm still shocked that he turned out to be the one hiding behind the darkroom. But if I think back on those pieces of time Jefferson had been dropping hints all along, it makes me sick to think how long he's been doing this for, and to whom. The needle. I can still feel that needle on my skin. Thank God I can't remember Jefferson posing me for most of his sick session. Imagine all those other people who had to suffer through that horror, like Rachel and Kate. That made me determined to get out of that room, at least to stop him and save Chloe. I had to use my focus rewind on multiple photos so often that even I got confused. Worse still, I knew I was screwing around with various realities again, but I had no other choice. Chloe would not die in a junkyard next to Rachel Amber, and there was no fucking way I was going to let Jefferson be the last person I ever saw. It's hard to, it's hard to even imagine myself in that studio alone with Jefferson acting like that. Everything was so neat and sterile, but it felt like the filthiest place on earth. If I didn't have this, abel this ability to bend time, what would I have done? What could I have done? Sometimes I felt removed, like I was looking at myself going through this hell. But thanks to Jefferson's class photo, he personally helped me to escape. I also feel so terrible that Victoria had to end up in here with me just because I warned her about Nathan. I should have known that she would rush to Jefferson for protection. Instead, he kidnapped her and almost murdered her because of me. I'll never forget the way Jefferson looked at me, so cold and mean. I felt like I was on one of those awful true crime shows my mom binge watches. How does somebody become evil? He actually shot Chloe in the head, just like that. Motherfucker. Now I feel terrible that I blamed David for harassing Kate, especially since he was after Jefferson all along. We could have been working together if David wasn't so paranoid. Yep. Yep. Also, I, I love this. Warning Victoria puts her in more danger. It, what's, what's that saying? The road to hell is paved with good intentions. I love that. I love that so much. Yes. Uh, oh, our phone is so empty. Okay. All I need is David's number, and Jefferson is one text closer to life without parole. Okay. This diary literally saved my life. Yeah, it did. Thank you, diary. I've got a ton of Blackwell brochures, so I hope David's number is in there. It should be. He's head of campus security. I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Blackwell Academy, 1910. For over a hundred years, Blackwell Academy has been an academic oasis for art and science and kidnapping, with diverse students from around the world seeking to change the world and their communities. Oh dear. Meet your professors, there's, there's Miss Grant. Lovely Miss Grant. You're not a creeper. Mark Jefferson. After blazing a trail in the world of 1990s style and fashion photography, Mark Jefferson always knew he wanted to share his vision and inspire others. In the late 2000s, he took a well-publicized detour into teaching around the country, inevitably ending up in a permanent position at Blackwell Academy. Mr. Jefferson's classes on art and photography are some of the most popular in the school's rich history, and his students will certainly go on to inspire others with their own vision. Found you. Yes, contacts, admissions, Mariana Taylor, financial aid, Lisa Avina, security, David Madsen, and the custodian, Samuel Taylor. Yep. Okay. For once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else. Come on, David. And take Jefferson down fast. Max hasn't pissed you off yet. Mr. Madsen, you're after Rachel Amber. Mark Jefferson is guilty. His uh, dark room is under the Prescott's farmhouse. You know the location. He's sick and dangerous. Stop him. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. 
So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. And Jefferson, you'll be going to prison. Damn straight. Oh. The past within the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? Probably. Probably. Victoria, it's nice to know how you really feel. My phone is dead, I'm bored. Time to bust out my... Uh... I can't read that. Oh, time to bust out my posy. Why did I give up the word for the image? Because I suck. But Mark Jefferson rules. Everybody in here loves him. But he only seems to care about Max C. I want to hate her, but she wouldn't care. Envy is a sin, Vic. Get over yourself. Oh, Victoria. I'm happy to fix it, so you'll be here to get your fancy camera, Victoria. I get it. I, I remember this, you know, with Max being like, oh, of course she'd be able to afford this really fancy camera. Fuck you, Victoria. And it, it just seemed very childish to me at the time. So I'm, I'm very happy to see that she's like, oh, no, you, you buy that camera. You go, girl, get that camera. Not impressed anymore. Damn straight. If only I could tell the whole class about Jefferson and watch him squirm. But I better let David take care of everything. You, you could have. You could have told him to go fuck himself. But you didn't for some reason. The 90s are over for you, asshole. Damn straight. Damn straight. You're not going to control anyone else ever again. Poor Kate. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hey, Max. Kate. Listen to me. I am. Always remember that you're not alone. I've got your back no matter what happens. So do a lot of other people. We all care. We're all here for you. You need to know that. Max, that makes me feel so blessed for the first time this week. I, I don't know what to say. That's okay. Neither do I. Maybe we could both use a hug. Oh, my baby. Thanks. You always know the right thing to do. There we go. Oh, Ada girl. She, she has such a lovely smile. turned into a dinosaur. I love her so much. I love Kate so goddamn much. Okay, okay, let's go. Let's keep going. This is the last time somebody bullies you, Kate. Yep, yeah, it is. We're gonna be there for you. We are gonna, we're gonna make sure it doesn't happen again. Oh, Rachel. I'm sorry. Okay. Let's see anything else to look at. We've got these books. Just a week ago, I was so naive about art, life, the world. Yeah. Yeah. It's weird to think that all this happened over the course of a week. Victoria, I'm sorry you have to stand next to that psycho. I see right through your bullshit, Jefferson. Everybody else will too. Mr. Jefferson, we need to talk. Uh, Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? Yes, I see. But maybe you shouldn't. Uh, and why not? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? I will be when Victoria understands that hiding behind a screen, posting videos of people is incredibly cruel and unfair. You're smart enough to know how easy it is to hurt somebody. To destroy their life. I just want you to think about how much it would hurt if somebody did that to you. You can always make the right choice, Victoria. I know you've got a good heart. I've seen it. Listen, I... I didn't... You don't have to explain. There's no reason for you to be so insecure that you can't be happy with your own talent. Wouldn't it be better to lift people up than to bring them down? 
You could inspire people. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about now. Do I, Mr. Jefferson? I think I should stay out of this one, Victoria. Then I guess I'm done talking. And that's okay, too. That was kind of random, Max. What did you mean? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh, that was easy. No, it wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh, I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell, the, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be innocent. Or guilty. Uh, well, thanks for the photo and... Maybe both of us will be jet-setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. That makes it so much weirder. When... You know, he, he was gonna pick her, obviously. Okay, Chloe still got away, good stuff. I hope I did everything right this time. Local teacher arrested. Good work, David. creepier when you know because here's the thing i don't i don't know if mr jefferson's feelings towards max were sexual it, he, there's definitely some kind of weirdness there i i could see him grooming her again i when i say grooming i don't necessarily means for i don't mean excuse me i don't necessarily mean for the purposes of sex but I, I guess, I, th I think Jefferson maybe wanted Max in the same way he wanted Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber was a really good model and she was in love with him, or at least he believed her to be in love with him. So he could get her to do all of these, you know, shoots. But as he said, she was always kind of looking off in the wrong place. With Max, he didn't have that problem. 
he really seemed to like Max as a model, and my skin does crawl as I say that. Um, I could maybe see him grooming her so that maybe she'd fall in love with him and then agree to be his permanent model, and this 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 um, San Francisco trip would have been the first step in that because it's it's blatantly obvious he would have picked Max to win. And even Victoria saw it. All he seemed to care about in his class was Max. That was the only person he seemed to give a shit about. So it just, oof. Oh, this this makes my skin crawl. Okay, uh, we've we've read this. I can't believe I was able to focus and rewind into my selfie all the way back to art class on Monday. I turned in my photo for the contest after I sent a text to David warning him about Jefferson. Whew. The only reason I haven't had a total meltdown is the fact that I do have this incredible power. I have to use it right for once, and maybe never again. It was weird to be in class with Jefferson. Like I wasn't just tortured by him in an underground bunker. I saw him for the first time as he is. A creepy, manipulative psychopath filled with bullshit. He uses art and passion to seduce people, but behind that there's nothing but hate and perversion. I only pray that I can fix this timeline, not fuck it up. And oh, what we have got. Okay, by the way, thanks, but we're not friends. Private number. Yep, yeah, that was Nathan. Okay. Um, I, I want to see where these differ. I think, I think for the rest of this episode, I'm just going to be reading the text. Um, yeah, this is, this is the same. Yeah, and then she's asking about time travel. Yeah, and then he was in the lab. Okay. Max! Jefferson! WTF! Insane, right? Did you ever suspect him? Of what? He just seemed like a cool teacher. I thought you kind of crushed on him. Sorry. You should be. I admired his work. Not anymore. Fuck him. He's history. Yes, he is. Do I have to make an appointment to see you now? Oh, please. But yes, you do. It's so cool that you won. Thanks, Warren. It feels weird. Um, okay, mom. Okay, yeah, there's the principal. Goddamn. What at the plant. Maxine, are you there? Are you okay? I just heard on the news about this art teacher you were always talking about. What is going on at Blackwell? Mom, I'm fine. Too much to text. It's crazy. I'll call you later. Promise. I hate you being away like this. Don't keep me waiting. I won't. Maxine, we are so proud, proud, proud. Thank you. You know, we always believed in you and your photos. Of course you did. That's why I'm at Blackwell. Uh, Kate? Okay, there's, this is gonna be pretty different. Okay, uh, hey Max, you around? Or was you okay? Yeah, okay, so we read this. Okay, yeah. Max, thank you so much for talking to me today in class. Things have been hard this week and you showed up at the right time, like an angel. You're a great friend and I'm so blessed. And don't you dare laugh. Never, you almost made me cry. Kate, just know that I'm always on your side. Max, O-X-O. Max, I want to thank you for giving me such great advice about going to the police and telling them everything about Nathan. I so appreciate you standing by me. Keeps my faith. XO, XO, XO. Kate, I'm on your side. Please don't mention me too much if you can. I'm already in trouble around here. And thanks so much for talking to me this morning. I was about to have a serious cry and I needed a friend. You were there, as usual. XO, XO. Oh my god, Max, I can't believe that Nathan and Jefferson were arrested. Honestly, I'm in shock. I have to go to the police now and give a full statement. Please let me know if you need me there. We all have your back. Thank you. 
I'm scared, but I want to make sure both of them are put away and never hurt anybody again. Max, I heard that you won the contest and it makes me so happy. Your photos are so real and wonderful. It gives me hope that you're going to be discovered now. Thank you, Kate. You give me hope by being my friend. Don't be so humble. Take a bow. I expect a full report over high tea soon. That is a date. Damn straight it is. Dana. Okay, uh, Max, Max, Max. Snap, snap, snap. I'm working on a new cheer for you. Dana, that is so awesome. I'm blushing. That's because you're on fire, girl. Hey, Dana. Dana, I love you. You're one of my favorites. Okay, Dad. Okay, yeah, we read that one. Max, I know Mom is melting your phone. I understand why. Tell her not to worry. You're an adult now. You can tell her. I will. Soon. He's just done with this shit. He's like, I can't be arsed with this. This is too much hassle. Okay, and oh god, where will this be? Okay. I just wish, I wish we could get up to the top quicker. Okay, Max, you there? Hello? What's going on? You okay? Crazy shit is going down. Step soldier called the cops and took off. He had his gun. That is crazy. Especially after hooking up with you again. And that snow today. Everything is going to be okay. We're together again. Insert insult here. And then she flips us off. Human emoji. Hey! Text me back when you hear anything. On it. Good morning. Your ass better be up if I am. Wakey wakey eggs and bakey. You mean wakey bakey. So what happened last night? Step Swat got home late last night, all jacked up about one of his investigations. He might be right for a change. You funny. So meet me at Two Wells ASAP. Okay, see you soon. Max, the boss with the gun, marry me. Illegal in Oregon, for now. Fuck that shit, elope. Max, I need to see you right now. I know what happened to Rachel. Come meet me at the lighthouse when you get this, please. I'll be there. I hope she's fine. Max, thank you for being with me yesterday. I keep trying to wake up like this is a nightmare. Why Rachel? She never hurt anybody. I disagree with that. I think she hurt you, but you just can't see it. No, she didn't. I think this is bullshit. Chloe, I'm so sorry about everything. Dude, how do we get over shit like this? We live. Rachel would want you to have a great life. That's truly the best revenge. Now we really do have to take over the world. No, we just have to be there for each other. You are Saint Max. Yo, Mass Max, check this shit out. I had a little talk with Step Hero tonight. Oh! Because David avenged Rachel, kind of. You know, he, he got Jefferson arrested. He's Step Hero now. Oh. Oh, and he apologized. I'm reading ahead, I'm sorry. I had a little talk with Step Hero tonight. I'm all eyes. Since he busted Jefferson, he is a totally different person. He has been very cool and apologized for his behavior. Oh, that's so sweet, Chloe. Now you're a family again. Whoa, down, sister. I did not cry in his arms. But he helped find Rachel and punish her killers. David obviously hella cares about my mom and probably me. Yes, I am hella bored with nothing to do what you doing, hippie? Some of us hippies have homework. No shit, Sherlock. And I already did my paperwork for Bay City College! Oh! Chloe! I'm proud of you. I hope so. Chloe, I won the Everyday Heroes Contest! Sorry. Holy shit, you rule, Max! I'm so proud of my superstar. This is just the start of your career. I'm just glad I can share it with you. Damn right. Plus, Max, you deserve to win. Me. No emoji! Oh. This timeline, it seems so good, doesn't it? It seems so very, very good. Everything is going right. You don't think that the game would rip the rug from out under our feet and make everything go to shit, do you? Nah, that... That probably won't happen in the next episode, but until then, 
please remember to like if you enjoyed, leave a comment below, and if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next episode.